on. Hi, I'm Pat Hyben from Baltimore, Maryland, and this is day one of the Kilimanjaro hike. I haven't started hiking yet. We're going to eat lunch. It's about 12 noon. We're going to head on up to the trail. Day one. We are on the way up to 9,000 feet. So Kilimanjaro super. Yeah. Day two, and it's still raining. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Orders on the right. Day two started out pouring down rain. Now, beautiful African sun is out. We're at Harambo Hut and uh, we're gonna sleep here and acclimate to the new altitude. The morning of day three, throw up on the bathroom floor. It, um, a lot of people are starting to get the altitude illness. So far, everyone in our cabin slept well last night. We had five of us in an eight by eight hut. Come on in. Now look at the floor. This is all the space. We have like a three by four area to walk in. As you can tell, we are above the clouds at this point. There she blows, the snow-capped roof of Africa. David Osborne reporting live from the base camp on Kilimanjaro, and uh, life is good. We've got sun today for the first time. Everybody's feeling great. We had a good night's sleep. We controlled our apartment, so we had no snores in the apartment. Well, we pat a little bit, but not much. So we're set. Seven hours sleep, baby, ready to rock and roll. Today we're going to the top of that mountain. And then tomorrow we're going to the top of that one. And that's it. Peace. Good morning, day four. We're hiking up about, uh, for about six hours a day. Hiking to the top. Then we're going to go to sleep for a while. Then we're going to come and summit tonight. We're at the halfway point of Kibo Hut at about 13,500 feet. You can see in the distance, we've got a lot of flat trail on the way to Kili. Alright, we are right now up to Kibo Hut. toilet seat there's a hole and you can see no matter who you are you must squat down like this you have to have good balance like you're riding a surfboard <laughs> that's the best you can do this is the bottomless pit Here is Buri on the way up to the roof of Africa to the sign. Is there any Buri? Hey Buri. Congratulations Buri. I feel amazing. 
Great to do it with. Greatest thing I've ever done. Tim, here's your bandana. Send it back to bro. Sorry, you're not here. We missed you. It was uh, so touch and go. I, uh, I really thought several times I wasn't going to make it. I had just Simba. Trouble breathing. Felt like I was gonna faint several times. I really felt like falling asleep on a rock several times. And just, just, I don't know what happened, but thanks to to David and Linda for their inspiration. Okay. I told Peter. I said, Peter, faint. I can't breathe. I just want to go back down. And Peter said, I got one thing to say to you, Mr. Pat. Follow me. Nice. Took up his poles and started walking. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Congratulations. Congratulations, my friend. When I was walking up the hill, I kept fainting. Kenny kept holding me. How are you getting me? You're just holding me like this. Making sure I don't fall down the mountain. We took the flag from him at Gilman's Point, and that was what got him up here. It was worth it. It was all worth it. Every day, every moment, every step, every time I fell down or practically passed out, it was all worth it. And in a couple more days, I want to remember the bad part. So it was all good. It was all worth it. Hardest thing ever, but definitely worth it. Ooh. Mambo! 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 <laughs> <laughs>